What's going on y'all? It's Brody with Better Outfitters and thank y'all for tuning in again with us. Um, we've been messing with this Jeep Gladiator this last week, doing some pretty cool things to it. He already had some pretty cool aftermarket modifications on it, so we're just gonna give you a quick run around of it, uh, show you some of the things that are on it, and pop this thing open and show you inside of it. So let's check it out. Um, so we'll just kind of start off up here. I uh, just want to make note, it's got a DV8 everywhere. Um, if you aren't familiar with that, it's a really, really high quality fender setup, um, rock chip guard, as well as your light bar mount up here going. Uh, doesn't weigh a whole lot. Um, he's also got his lift set up on here. Um, he's running a set of Fox shocks on it. Um, I know he's put a lot of miles on this thing since he's had that. He's got the uh, Nitto Ridge Grappler tires on there. They're more of a hybrid style tire. I've been curious to know a little bit about him. I think he's been running for a decent amount of time, but if not, I'm going to be checking up with him here in the next little bit after he goes on some of his trips over the next few weeks when he picks this thing up. So I'll be curious to know uh, from my own experience because he is running a set of 37s on this thing and they're on the uh, XD series wheels that kind of already have the red on it to match up with his Jeep. It looks pretty nice on there. Up front, you can see he's got just the standard Jeep Gladiator front bumper. They're already equipped up where you can just throw you a winch in the front of it. He looks like he's been heavily using this one and doing a little bit of traveling on some those beaten paths. On both sides, he's got a set of roto packs, um, one side being for fuel, and this side uh, as the white ones, they're distinguished for his fresh water. Um, two gallons a piece, so you got four gallons of fresh water, and you got an extra four gallons of fuel on the other side on some pretty cool mounts mounted right up here. And just falling back along, you still got the DV8 fenders. Um, and gosh, this is the first time I've really just got to actually put my hands on them and see. You also got their fender liners wrapped in here, adds just a lot more protection, helps with banging up the inside and a lot of noise up there um just a really they make a really nice product um and then right up here we got the at topper this is the atlas model um we'll pop that thing open and we're about to pop open the easy on 270 awning that he's got for this thing Now that we got this thing popped open, we're gonna show you some of the cool features we got set up inside this thing. So first off, as you can see, you got your goose gear set up. This can be for the Jeep truck version, uh, five footer. The only thing, he did a custom one where he didn't get the fridge slide set up here. He's gonna go a different style route with that and he's gonna set him up a desk right here uh, for working on the road. Uh, you got your two storage drawers, but one of the pretty cool features with this is that they do is so whenever your tailgate's shut, you can still open that and so you can put whatever kind of goodies you need to be able to access and not open everything up for right there. Makes it pretty nice. Um, along with that, just for the AT standard features, you got your switch for your lights right here. You got your two USB charging ports and you got a 12 volt charging port right here. As well as you can add in any other ones. Also got your light up here for your amber lights for whenever you're hanging out, cooking, doing anything like that. So let's hop up in here. Texas cold in the morning, hot in the, hot the next hour. <laughs> uh, so next up along with the goose gear kind of set up, you get this pretty nice little, uh, well, not little, big hatch right here. Uh, and when you open that up, it gives you tons of space all the way down into the truck bed, be able to add a bunch of storage right in there. Underneath here, you got the EcoFlow Delta power system, uh, as well as the second power pack right here um, running the EcoFlow AC and heater combo that we've got plumbed in. And to cool off and heat, it does a very good job. Moving along to the next thing is gonna be uh, your side window on this AT topper. It's gonna be their Euro style window. So you get your screen or you get your full blind to kind of block out the light. Um, you can see it's pretty bright in here. I got a bunch of the windows opened up to allow some better lighting, but it can get pretty dark in here and uh, will allow you to sleep in too late on any of your fun fishing trips. Uh, and so when it's the beautiful weather days out and you don't need to be running the AC or the heater because it's just that perfect weather, uh, kind of like it is outside right now and you're wanting to get you some rest, you can fire on just the max air fan to circulate some of that nice cool air into it or 
get any hot air out. Thank y'all for watching this far. If you want to see how some of this stuff got put in, stay tuned for some footage of Daniel put it in. Uh, if you got any questions, give us a call and we'd be happy to help you do any of this kind of installing your rig. And thank you, customer, for letting us video your rig and show all these people your cool stuff.